Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lorraine. You probably noticed that I've been recording all my videos in English, but I'm not really a native speaker. So in today's episode, I'm gonna share a few tricks or you could call it tips about how I learn English. So this video is all about how to build a solid, robust foundation of learning one language. So let me give you a quick intro about my English educational background. I live in China for most of the time of my life. I grew up in a place where for sure they don't give the best English education to us. My dad speaks very very little of English. My mom can kind of speak a bit. So really none of my family members speak English when I was a kid. So that's basically my background. Nothing special, nothing fancy. But I made it today. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you three tricks about how I learned English, how I progressed that much. And if you are interested, keep watching. So first thing that I wanna say is that you may need to find the right and the best way for yourself. I know a lot of people sharing a thousand different ways of learning English, how to read words, how to memorize words, how to make sentences, like so many things different things that you can take from other YouTuber or other content creators. What I was trying to say is that I think you should try most of them and find a way that suits you the best. So for me, watching TV series and movies really helps. I couldn't find an easier way or much more fun way to do this than to watch a movie or TV series. When I was a teenager in high school, I remember my favorite TV show was The Vampire Diary. I was so obsessed with that show and I couldn't miss the one episode. I enjoyed it so much and naturally I just picked up a lot of words and the way how native speaker would say it. And with The Vampire Show, I even picked up a lot of weird words that people would never use in their real life, just like ravine or doppelganger. Those words, people were never used in their life. But because I watched the show, I heard them sing a few times, I just pick it up. And nothing fancy, nothing serious, and well, I just did it. And that's the way that suits me the best. And I always love to check the lyrics if I really like the song. So every time when a singer that I like release a new album or things like that, I would always like to check the lyrics and try to maybe sing along, try to memorize the, the lyrics and hear the song a lot. And you just naturally pick a lot of things that you didn't even notice that you did it. And that's simply my way. I don't put a lot of pressure on me. But at the same time, I do know I have friends who like to just sit down there, have an empty space and just open the dictionary and just memorize the very first word till the very last. So what I wanted to say here is that you want to try a lot of different ways to find a way that you find most comfortable with, that you find the most efficient, that you find like the easiest one. But because that's the way that you enjoy the most, this learning process won't be as difficult as the way that you will hate it. So in that case, learning will be much more fun and they will be much easier. So in that way, you could learn a lot without even noticing that much. And the second tip that I think is really useful is to listen a lot. Think about it, the words we've been using must come from the word that we know. And how do we know those words? We must learn it from somewhere. And how do we learn it? We get from outside, we talk to people, they tell us a new word, we memorize it, or we just go through the dictionary and find, oh, that's the word that I didn't know. So I memorize it. Or there could be a thousand other new ways that you learn new words. But my point is that we need to take as much as possible as our own dictionary. For every learning curve, the first thing we always needed to do is to learn as much as possible, is to memorize the things that you don't know before. It's just like any other thing in the world. And how do we learn new things? You could potentially just read. So reading is already a very good way to absorb all those new things to yourself. But for me, listening will help me even much more. The reason why I prefer listening is that you could get a proper pronunciation 
and you also learn the context that you will use this word. There is a very interesting English word called kerfuffle. And if you just read it, if you find it in the dictionary, you may find, oh, that's a word. But you may not know how to read it properly and you don't know how to use the word. And I think for every language we learn, we want to use it. So when we learn it from the first place, we want to use it. And you want to learn how to read it properly, how to use it properly. So listening will be a really good practice for you as a beginner that you start to learn a lot of things, you start to listen to a lot of things, write things down and learn the things that you don't know and maybe just repeating the things that they've been saying and that's a really good practice that you could use. And the last one, which is the third one that I want to share with you guys is to speak or talk as often as possible. Our memory, our lips, our muscles has a memory. And when you do things properly, when you do this as often as possible, all those muscles will remember what you've been doing. This could be easily done if you happen to live in a country where they happen to speak the language. and. That will be just a different thousand ways for you to practice, for you to speak. You could talk to the local people, you could make friends, you have really, really a lot of ways that you could practice that. Or you could just go to a supermarket and ask them, oh, do you know where I can find the tomatoes? But this can also be tricky if you don't live in the country or you've been just practicing or any other circumstances. So for me, I just moved to London, I think two or three years ago. Before that, I don't really have a proper environment for me to practice or to speak English very often, but I also need to pass the test. And you may find talking to a friend maybe awkward or embarrassing. The way that I was using by then is to record everything you said in English. You may never go back to listen to them again, which I think you should because when you listen back, it's always easier to recognize other people's problems. It will also happen when you go back and listen to what you've been saying. And you may notice like, oh, so here's a grammar mistake, so here's a not proper pronunciation. You could recognize, you could identify so many mistakes that you made in the graph or in the sentence that you said. So that's the case if you go back and listen to what you've been saying. But I also know a lot of people don't really want to hear their voice or they may record it, but they will just never go back again. And that will do the work too, because when you know you're recording yourself, you will intentionally pay attention to what you've been saying. So for every word you say, you probably will think before you say that out loud. So the words actually go through here first and then here out. Because sometimes I do this, it's like it just gets out from here, not here. So this will kind of force you into this habit of thinking before speaking. So every time when you speak, you will have this habit of thinking things properly before speaking. In the longer term, in this habit will for sure stay in your mind, in your muscle, and for sure it's gonna help you with your English. So that's all three tricks that I've been using and I think I'm still using the tricks because I'm not a native speaker. There's still tons of things that I need to learn and I've been using all of them still to learn English. And that will be today's video, but if you want to know more about how to pick up an accent when you live there or how can you improve your English when you already have a good foundation, leave a comment below and I will do another episode about this. So I guess that will be everything in today's video. I will see you next time. Bye!